okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thanks so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and get a general message from my virgos that are dealing with an air sign an aquarius leader or a gemini now this is a general message it may not resonate with for everyone take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay Anybody interested in the personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into this. Let's see what the energy is like. For my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign. Thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. What is the overall energy here? Show me. Oh. So we have the lovers. So definitely Gemini energy coming out here. And we have the main male at the bottom of the deck. All right, Spirit, give me six cards here for this situation. The lovers. So some of you may be in a relationship here with an air sign. Or oh, I'm also getting this energy of the number 15 boils down to a six. So the six of wands talks about victory and success. Someone here may want to date someone or they may want to be successful in a relationship here with you. But show me what this is. Thank you, Spirit. So the first card, oh, we have the four of cups. Show me more. So someone here may feel like they missed an opportunity here with you, Virgos. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Now, cross watcher, if you are in here and you are dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the rolls, okay? Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Show me more. So someone here is in their head. Someone here feels like there's some kind of sadness surrounding someone. Six of Pentacles, okay? Someone may be regretting that they didn't kind of give an equal give and take to the situation. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, look at that. Your wish fulfillment here to someone here, Virgos. Someone is feeling like they missed the opportunity. The one. Now, for some of you, you could have been dealing with an air sign who had other options here. For some of you, with the rat in the corner, this is going to tell me that for some of you, you were dealing with an air sign who was... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say dishonest, but I'm also hearing distasteful. Hmm. So I don't know what that is supposed to mean. Nine of Cups. Show me more, Spirit. See, for some of you, this person was too slow to come in with some sort of solid offer here. Uh, again, this energy. Yeah, look at that. The tower behind here with the Ten of Swords. Definitely some of you are dealing with an air sign who was hiding or masking a lot of things here. What is this King of Swords energy? Look at that, the Eight of Cups wanted to come out with it as well. The World Card. A cycle has been completed. Something is over. Someone has walked away. Some of my Virgos, like, again, you know, these animals in the corner. There's a mole in this one. Um, very deceptive energy here from this person. Look at that, the Five of Wands. All right, show me more. What is the Six of Pentacles? The lovers again. Yeah, it it's almost feels like, um, I feel like with this Six of Pentacles and this lovers card, I mean, take it how it resonates, right? It may not be for everyone, but it kind of gives me this energy of someone who spreads their self thin. Um, show me more, because it could be that, you know, this person may want to communicate um, with you for some of you here. And they may, with the Six of Pentacles, they may want to bring balance to this situation. But show me what the Six of Pentacles and the lovers is. Thank you, Spirit. eight of pentacles hmm. something to do with someone's work what is the eight of pentacles i don't know if for some of you if you work with this person here what is the eight of pentacles the eight of cups 
Oh, okay. So for some of you, um, I don't know if this air sign wanted you to walk away from some sort of work situation or something that you put a lot of time, effort and energy into here. But there's a tower with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. But it's almost like someone here is in some kind of shock or something like that or in their head that maybe something is still going ahead for you with the Ace of Wands. Now, for some of you, this could be... Um, representing like maybe you are putting the hard work or effort or energy into yourself or something that you are growing right since you've walked away from this person for some of you there's going to be some sort of shock or some sort of epiphany here that you may have moved on to new love but for some of you there's something here about finances and a business spirit give me some more cards <clears throat> My Virgos are dealing with an air sign. What is the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups? Past, lack and suffering. Yeah. They're regretting something here about the past. And like I said, I feel like for some of you, maybe this person didn't make you some sort of solid offer. Um... The King of Swords and the World card. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have Distance, Retreat or Time Out. The Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. There's that fate and that divine intervention here. And show me more. And then you have this harmony, triggers and conflict. See, I don't know if this person has been causing, like I said, some kind of conflict to do with your workspace here. Um, or there's someone here who's trying to trigger you when it comes to something you do for work here. Or they wanted you to feel uneasy or they, like I said, it feels like this energy of somebody wanting someone to walk away from something. But I don't know. I don't feel like you did here. Yeah, look at that. Forts and isolating. So this person is in their thoughts here about some kind of structure or something that you're building for yourself here. And again, for some of you, this is about some sort of new beginning. We already just saw the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, now this person is in fear because there is some sort of boundaries that is up or there's you've got your um, guards up here, Virgos. Yeah, it's almost like the access to you is very much limited here. So give me three cards from this deck for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. So lots of regrets, which is the running energy right now. But again, guys, you know, bear in mind, we are in a Mercury retrograde. Yeah, look at this. The power of three. Three witchy sisters. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with some kind of... um witch or some kind of warlock or whatever it is right but it's almost like um hmm show me more because i feel like this person is seeing something different now this person definitely could have been working in cahoots with someone else or other people because there is three people in this card here but you see it's the number nine here and that all that tells me that hey something is almost at the end um, the number nine is also giving me the energy of they may not know or they maybe didn't know who they were dealing with, right? That nine of wands is that energy of the wounded warrior here. Um, some of my Virgos, hey, you're fighters and you don't give up, right? And that's good. Now, for some of you, that wounded warrior could also be saying to me here that maybe this person has been trying to do something again and again and again. But it's almost like spirit, yeah, calm the, calm the chaos. It's like almost like your ancestors and angels coming in and just kind of putting an end to something. Show me more. Give me two more cards for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign. Thank you, spirit. So you have the signs are with you already. Yeah, some of my Virgos you may already know, okay? It's almost like this woman's looking at whoever and kind of saying, really? That's what we're doing? Signs are already with you. Give me one more card. And it is a number four, which makes me think of the four of wands, which makes me feel again, you know, this energy of I feel like your foundation or whatever here, your stability is very much protected here. So you have a clear solution. And isn't that like the hermit with the lamp? 
Now, there's definitely some sort of victory in this situation here. Now, for some of you, you may want to reconcile with this person, right? I always say to you guys, it's free will, you know, what you want to do with these situations. You know, tarot is just like a guidance, okay? Um, but a clear solution, okay. Now, this person may be trying to think of some kind of idea to come towards you here. Look at this, crying over spilt milk. Spirit, show me this um, air sign going forward. Give me three cards. What is their next actions? The Knight of Wands. Okay, show me more. The Ace of Swords. And one more. What was that? Ah, the Page of Wands. Okay, give me one more card. And then a Death card. See, for some of you, <laughs> two of cups at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, it feels like this person kind of wants to rush in here. Um, they may want to have some kind of conversation here or they may want to deliver some kind of truth here, right? A clear solution. Ace of Swords talks about clarity. But what concerns me is that they're coming in as the Knight of Wands. And like I said, it could just be that they want to rush in. It could mean just fast action, okay? For some of you, I feel like, especially with the lovers out here, I feel like this person has intimacy um, on their brain here, okay? So this could be someone who is very attracted to you here, Virgos. The death card is giving me death and the rebirth. For some, <laughs> Clarify this death card, because I feel like for some of you, this person may come in here. There's that four of wands and the knight of cups, but the moon card... I feel like for some of you, this person may come in and tell you that they have changed or, you know, there's been some kind of transformation here in their life. But I don't know if going forward that this is just a done deal. Clarify the death card for me. Oh, look at that. Wish fulfillment. It's almost like it would be this person's wish to have a second chance here with you, Virgos. Or third, fourth, I don't know who this person is to you, right? For some of you, this could even be like a family member or friend. Um, show me more. You have, look at that, there's a lot of chemistry here, a lot of passion. It says, remember, an awakening, it says chemistry and passion. Okay. Give me three cards from this deck. My Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. So you have, I'm starting to understand our connection. And and it, it could, it's very possible, right? It's, it's only one person's eyes that is open here. But again, you know, they may have options here or they may have people around them here that may disagree with this connection or um, something like that. But I'm starting to understand our connection. Give me two more. I hid who I really am from you. But I feel like with that, the, the signs are, um, are already with you, Virgos. I feel like you see straight through this person, okay? You have, I feel you even though we're apart. So that makes me feel like for some of you, this may be a twin flame or a soulmate connection. So let's get some cards from the lover's deck. Give me three cards for my Virgos. I'm dealing with an air sign. Thank you. First one out, we have make the effort. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Two more. Give me two more cards. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So we have true love. Okay. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. I feel you even though we're apart. And then you have finances and career. That was in the reverse. So for some of you, I don't know if this person is um, suffering financially here. It could be the divine intervening here, right? So I don't know what this person done to kind of receive some sort of karma. 
or you have finances and careers says finances financial issues are a factor in your love life now for some of you it may even feel like that do you know what maybe this person feels like they didn't have enough to give to the situation but it's almost like i'm hearing um from some of my virgos that I, I don't feel like you was asking for anything financially from this person maybe you just wanted someone who was honest someone who was gonna like i said give an e give an equal give and take to the situation right the energy that you was putting into it you just wanted this person to return it so give me three cards you have both it says receiving what you need it says progression arriving moving on and it says closure issues two more cards thank you spirit You have healing heart. It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addictions. For some of you, this may have been, like I said, a third party situation. Maybe someone had to cut somebody out first. And that's way too many cards, but thank you, Spirit. So we have photograph. It says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. It says make new memories. And that's really interesting because I've been hearing a song. Um, and I think, let me just quickly check, guys. Let me just quickly check. Okay, yeah. It's a song. It's a song by, um, they're called, it's like a group. I don't even know if they kind of still exist as a group, but the group's called All For One. And the song is called I Swear. Now, I just listened to the very first line of it. I may do a love reading on the song. I don't know. But it's like the very first line the person says, I see the questions in your eyes. So this person knows that they got some kind of explaining to do here about some sort of situation, okay? Now, the other one you had was seduction. It says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. And then you have the chaser. You see that? You see that kind of energy? It's almost like... Um, I kind of feel like I want to say it feels like someone here maybe had some sort of like an ego death or their bubble burst. Do you, do you know what I mean? This may have been someone who thought they were the ish or um, I don't know. But it just feels like someone here, like the universe has brang someone down a peg or two. And then you have the chaser. It says chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So that's the second time we've heard that uh, something about fear of abandonment issues, right? Or we have closure issues, same thing. Um, so, yeah. It looks like for some of you, this person is now going to be chasing you. So, Spirit, is there anything that my Virgos need to be aware of in this situation? Oh, look at that. Not breaking patterns. Especially if this is a toxic situation or this was a toxic relationship or a toxic connection, right? Toxicity, bound and patterns. Yes, yeah, spirit says, Virgos, don't forget your self-love. Don't forget your boundaries. Don't forget how far you've come. Don't forget what you deserve. <laughs> Look at that. Third eye. Clarity, higher self activation. Some of my Virgos, you see very clearly. So some of these readings may just be confirmations for you. Anything else my Virgos need to be aware of in this situation? <laughs> I don't know. You have cycles, change and complete. Some of you have transformed. You have outgrown this person. Divine feminine energy. Be aware, look at that as I'm going to put it down. Be aware that for some of you, if you kind of go back to this situation now, like I always say, okay, you have free will. But for someone here, if you go back to this situation, you could be getting yourself in some sort of situation. I don't know, some sort of karma situation with this person. Like, okay, thank you, spirit. Yeah, see, that's why sometimes I just have to slow down and let spirit speak, you know. Some of you will be... Repeating a cycle, a karmic cycle. All right, thank you, Spirit. So, 
that is what I have for you, Virgos, if you are dealing with an air sign. Guys, if anything in a reading resonated with you, do hit that thumbs up. I'm being called to draw those cards, but... um, uh, All right, let's see what comes out. I don't know, maybe something significant for someone. All right, Spirit, what do we have? Before we close out this reading, first one falling out, it says, I can't let you go. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Thank you. Yes, look at this. We have moon magic. It says backfire. It says you are protected by your grandpa. You have, do you think about me? Well, they clearly think about you. You have a little song about you. Okay, so someone here could be a musician or a songwriter or something like that. Maybe someone here is, I'm hearing poetry as well. What do we have here for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Thank you. So we have in the reverse, Sagittarius energy. And the first thing I heard was the temperance card. So this may be someone who is unbalanced right now. Um, this also could be someone who is running out of patience in this situation. I'm hearing sexually frustrated. Um... In the reverse as well, we have, I'm into the same sex, shush. I feel like something here may be coming out about somebody being into the same sex. You have, I'm walking away, Craig David, in the reverse. So again, it gives me the energy here of, this is someone who, if they feel a little bit determined here to achieve something or to get you back or to get in bed with you, or it just feels a bit, I don't know. You have, I can't find the words to say to you. You have, I stayed for the children. It says your goons are on a mission. Look out. This person better be careful with that tower out here. And then we have red car. All right, one more shuffle. Thank you, spirit. Anything else on this deck? Oh, okay. So we have the police are watching. Oh, okay. We have I stalk your social media. So I don't know if the police or, or someone here is watching someone here. It looks like someone here may be trying to interfere with someone's social media but like i said over here there was some kind of energy something to do with someone's work here what was with the eight of pentacles the eight of cups oh and there's two eights so i didn't even realize that so you know it's all over when the fat lady sings okay and what was the last one look at that face down teach me how to love so there goes, that's what I have for you guys, okay? So if anything resonated with you, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.